I'd say your options are very limited. You're gonna need to pump up these math grades by a percent or two. And, and these study halls, these just tell people like me that you're a slacker. <laughs> and your SATs are coming up. Are you enrolled in a class for that yet? Probably not. Don't give me that I'm only in ninth grade look. <laughs> if you really wanted to go to Cal, you would have been thinking about this in the sixth grade. <laughs> That's the way you succeed. <laughs> New York for two weeks and a road trip. Denver for a week to play soccer. Denver is a very long way from Berkeley. <laughs> No college admissions office is going to look kindly upon this summer. Hi, honey, how was your day? Um, it was fine. I, I need you to sign this, though. Oh, your math grade, 104%. Renee, that's amazing. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> It would have been higher if I'd gotten 70 out of 60 instead of 65 out of 60 on my last test. <laughs> but better luck next time, I guess. <laughs> Give it 110%. We've all heard that from our teachers and our coaches and our parents. But that was an over-exaggeration. How is it possible to get over 100%? <laughs> You only charge your battery until it's 100% full. <laughs> when you own a house, you own 100% of it. How could you have any more? And yet, I can get 104% in class. In math class. <laughs> <laughs> My math teacher says that one out of one is the highest fraction. A hundred percent. That's it. We're done. Finito. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Who Wants to Be a Cal Student. <laughs> I'm your host, Tony Vicchio, and tonight's contestant is Renee MacDonald. She has an impressive application, but will it be enough? <laughs> Well, we're here to find out. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, Renee. Are you ready for question one? Great. This is the place to which the applications just to Cal would reach if they were laid end to end. <laughs> um, what is Zurich, Switzerland? <laughs> And that is correct! Okay. <laughs> Question two. This is the ideal summer of a Cal applicant. What is um, supplying clean water to Darfur, um, setting up tent cities in Pakistan, and um, rebuilding the entire government of Haiti? <laughs> And you are two for two. Okay. <laughs> Question three. This is the projected demographic of the 2011 Cal student body. Okay. What is um, <clears throat> African American, Asian American, uh, White American, um, uh, Hispanic American? Uh, Native American, um, European American, um, Canadian American, and um, international students. <laughs> well, she is patriotic, folks. Um, that leads us into our commercial break. We'll be right back. <laughs> hey, Mr. Stevenson. So, um, I thought it would be a good idea if I took Algebra 2 over the summer. Um, I mean, uh, that way I could take pre-calc next year, and that would look really good on my transcript, right? And that way, junior year, I could take AP Physics, AP Chem, and Bio. Hmm. Algebra 2. 
what you need is Camp Calculus. <laughs> it's a three-week stay in a windowless room where you learn to think outside the parabola. <laughs> Just imagine it. Functions followed by breakfast, then antiderivatives and Linux clinics. You still have until midnight tomorrow night to decide. You do want to go to Cal, right? Well, I don't know if I'm going to be able to work with you if you don't take part in this once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Look what I have. What? Oh, my course list for 10th grade. Um, okay, uh, English, pre-calc, if I finish Algebra 2. Um, advanced Chemistry, Advanced Enough to, uh, I'm going to be a Physics Tutor. Oh, I forgot. I have to read and annotate uh, Things Fall Apart this summer. And um, I also got, I also got cast in the musical at school. It's going to be an awesome year. <laughs> oh, please, please go away. Please, please just go away. Wow, Renee, you're... You're really breaking out. <laughs> <laughs> not helping, okay? I'm stressed out. Next summer, can you please remind me just not to do anything? Okay, Mr. Stevenson expects me to go to Camp Calculus, and I only have, I only have five hours to decide, okay? I still have a semester and a half of math to do. I leave for Denver in nine days. I have to read a book, I get home from Denver, and then I start rehearsals for a musical, and they might make me sing. <laughs> They sent me my grades. Um, not as good as I would have liked. Um, all A's except one A plus and two A minuses. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. Well, because I'm not happy. Because that's a 3.99 GPA. <laughs> Cal doesn't accept kids who get 3.99s, okay? <laughs> Well, maybe 0.01 doesn't mean that much to you, but 0.01% of just our galaxy, well, think of it as a cube, is 48,000 light years on an edge. That alone contains 15 black holes. So yes, I have just essentially fallen into a black hole, and I am being compressed into nothing. Do you want that to happen to me? No, I didn't think so. Look, a black hole is a region of space from which nothing, including me, including light, including my 3.99 can escape, okay? You're now witnessing me spiraling and being squeezed through a cosmic garlic press. And what remains is your daughter in a pulpy mess, which Mr. Stevenson certainly wouldn't understand because he's still at Camp Calculus, buckling his Birkenstocks and sitting on the edge of his hand-woven hemp quilt, whittling a logarithm from the wood he found on his last derivatives hike. <laughs> even though he dropped out of community college his sophomore year because his, because his agent told him he could skip all that education crap, which obviously worked out quite well for him. <laughs> and we are back to who wants to be a Cal student. We are here with Renee, and she is doing quite well. All right, Renee, are you ready for your next question? Great, okay. This is the average GPA for incoming freshmen. What is 4.39? <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> OK. And question number nine. These are the highlights from the 1997 Cal football home opener. OK. What is 
Bobby Shaw having 11 reception for 158 yards and scoring two touchdowns. Um, uh, Justin Vetter completing um, 24 of 39 passes for 258 yards and Cal beating Oklahoma 40 to 36 in the fourth quarter. Wow, you really know your stuff. <laughs> All right, and for question 10. This deceptively easy spelling trips up a lot of people. Spell Berkeley. <laughs> <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 